The third question on the test is one more question on probability that catches a lot of people off guard. We have event C represent the probability of getting rear-ended on your way to work, and the event D, the probability of getting to work safe and sound without any sort of collision. And if we look at it, the probability of event D is very likely. There's a 99.95% .95 probability that you will get to work without any sort of collision. The probability of getting rear-ended is 0 0.02%, 0 0.0002 as a decimal. So it's very unlikely you'll get rear-ended. And there are other events, such as like you hitting someone, which could represent the disjoint events we don't see right here because that doesn't mean you got rear-ended. It means you caused an accident. So there are other things that could occur. So this is not the set of all events. Now, this is where we have to stop and think. We have find the probability of C and D. And this is where we would multiply together. But when we multiply events, we need to check something. We need to check that the two events are independent. As soon as we decide to multiply, we ask ourselves, would getting rear-ended influence in any way me getting to work without having a collision? And the answer is yes. If you got rear-ended, there's no way you could get to work without any sort of collision. So this is a bit of a tricky question because one, you could write, since we do not meet the rule of independence, we cannot multiply these two events together. Even more, we can actually figure out that the probability of both of these things occurring, that in one trip to work, you would get to work safe and sound, and also you would get rear-ended, the probability of that is zero, because these are disjoint events. As soon as you get to work safe and sound, we know you did not get rear-ended, so they can't both happen. As soon as we know you got rear-ended on your way to work, we know you did not get to work safe and sound. So once again, we do not meet the condition of independence right here. Getting to work without any sort of collision depends on if you got rear-ended on your way to work. Because we do not meet the rule of independence, we cannot simply multiply these events together. Some great answers to this question could be, this is a trick question. We can't multiply these events together. Another answer could be, zero, because it is impossible to get to work without a collision and to also get rear-ended on the way to work. These first three questions on the test go over probability, and they do it in a way to make you recognize the rules associated with probability. So make sure to review these rules and know when we can add together events and when we can multiply together events. 